Hello everyone, welcome to D4 Drupal channel. Today we are going to see about how to save your webform data as a draft before submitting. So you can use this option when you want to uh, stop your form submitting at the middle and if you want to come back after some time and if you want to restore the data what, what you stored before and if you want to continue from where you stop, you can use this save draft option. So first you have to go to the settings and submissions. Here you will have an option called draft when you scroll down here. Here you have an option, submission draft settings. So you can allow authenticated user alone to make use of draft option or anonymous also can use it. I'm selecting only authenticated and you can allow user to save multiple draft. You can allow the particular users to save multiple draft for the web form. So I just enabling that to here. Scroll down and save it. Once you save, click on view now. Here, if you scroll down, you can able to see the form. So give the first name, first name, and last name, email. And I'm not giving value for remaining two field. I'm just saving this as draft. Once that is done, you just go to the form again. And you can see here, we have a printing draft for this form. You can view them. View them. So I have more than one draft for this form. That's why it is taking here. If you have only one, the automatically the value will be pre-populated in that page. So when you click on the particular ID, on that ID, what draft you have saved, that will be pre-populated. Okay, this is what we saved here. And also, uh, when you go to the view printing draft, here you are able to see some fields, right? You can customize these fields also. So that you can do by going back to the form and settings, align submission, and scroll down. So submission user column, here you can change. You can remove all, serial number will be there. So you can keep first name, last name if you want, email ID, and then just save it. Once you've saved it, again click on view now. Click on view pending drafts. So here you can see whatever we configured there, the same uh, column is available here okay so this is how you can uh, save your web form data and also you can view your data in your view okay and that's it about today's video if you like the video please share like and subscribe to my channel thank you bye